Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey, guys. My wonderful, wonderful, loving, loving, beautiful, beautiful people out there. Oh, this is your Oracle card reading for July the 10th through the 16th of 2017. Oh, so I did my meditation and cleansing. And um, let's see what messages want to come through for this wonderful, glorious week. Uh, what ascended masters, what angels, what spiritual beings, you know, what they have to say. I will be doing the three cards as usual. So at least you have a choice. So the card resonates with you. Um, for some, all may resonate. They all have little messages or meanings behind them for each of you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my lovely, lovely beings for watching and subscribing. Please do share. Do share these videos with others. Maybe they can get something out of them. You never know. You never know what goodness may come from that. So again, my how time is flying by. Isn't it though, guys? Wow. You know it will be almost Christmas again. Winter. <laughs> Oh, so let's see what's going on. This will be card number one. We'll put card number two right here. So this card resonates with you. Pick it. Card number three resonates with you. Choose it. Um, I didn't put my little lights in. I just noticed that. And I want to do this for the summertime. I love these little like um sunflower LED lights. I think they're so neat. These little petals. Wonderful. I love them. Right time I seen them, I said, oh, gotta have those. Where can I put that? I'll squeeze you in here. I'm gonna hide my little crystal there. It's just as powerful as the bigger ones my singing light okay guys have you chose which one you are drawn to let's see who it's going to be for number one for this week again guys this is the keepers of the light oracle cards that I am using Saint Germain yes we have pulled Saint Germain before Saint Germain karma releasing Move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. Right? I hope you guys are striving for that that chose number one. Tell me. That's what you need to do. This is your message. Let's see what the book has to say about St. Germain. In more detail. St. Germain, Karma... Karma releasing. Move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. Saint Germain was born in France in the 18th century and is said to have been given a new identity because he was the love child of two very powerful people. He was well educated and able to rub shoulders with royalty. 
He was so also deeply interested in magic, alchemy, and the cosmos, and able to perform real life miracles that and turn lead into gold. Now he helps us move, move beyond social limitations to connect with the right people for the highest good. He's still a master alchemist and able to help us turn whatever is leading, leading in our life into something that is golden. Yes, his twin flame is Lady Portia and he is the keeper of the violent flame the powerful etheric retreat where we can release karma karma is the spiritual law a law of cause and effect we experience many levels of karma some we inherit from our family and some from the people we keep helping out of the problems they keep creating Saint Germain is here now to clear your energy so that you no longer have the weight of the world or your loved ones on your shoulders. Be aware that an old pattern is leaving your life and creating space for something more loving to enter. Visualize yourself surrounded by the fiery violet cloak to release all karma you no longer need. Yes, yes. He is now here to help us move beyond, beyond the social limitations to connect us with the right people for the highest good. Wonderful, wonderful Saint Germain. Karma releasing. You ever just sit around and say, Damn, I must have some old karma because the same old bullshit just keeps happening in my life. It's just like the same cycle goes around and around and around and around. Guys, it's time for you to step out of that cycle. This card is telling you to make changes in your life. The drama, really, you don't need to be in those certain situations that energy or those people that are keep causing the drama or they always got drama in their life you know who I'm talking about everybody knows have been through this or have at some point in their life they know these people you know these people I've known people like that that every day it's something if they ain't talking about someone else, they're worried about someone else talking about them. Or they're worried about what Sue over there is doing, or what Mary over there, or, or how far the Joneses have got. You know, people like that. Um, now is the time, especially if you want good energy in your life, is to release all that crap, that cruddy ugly muddy stuff step out of that step into your path let things like that go uh, some of you may be doing this yourself it's now time to release that um, you may have to release these people from your life that energy really is not good for you not not if you are are trying to what we call here better ourselves and and connect to the right people for the you know the highest good uh, once you let all this the karma go and the, the drama out of your life go trust me um, you will start to meet the right people that can help you on your path for the highest good that have the best you know thought love for you to help you better yourself the question is for some of you are you ready to do that are you ready to remove yourself from the drama remove yourself from these people's energy and step back and say wait a minute you know this cycle just keeps repeating 
you starting to see the same cycle just go over and over and round and round and round on the wheel it goes. St. Germain is here to help you release that. If you're ready, you have to be ready to, meet, to uh, move beyond that. It's time for you to create your own path and make room for the good energy that needs to be in your life to do um, the things that your soul or your spirit came here to do. But we get so bogged down with the drama of the news, the drama on TV. Some, it's, it's about time that, uh, even if you have to turn your TV off, drama is everywhere. Everywhere. It's time to um, take a break from that, especially if it's TV that may be causing drama in your life. I'm talking about the ones that are watching TV and getting caught up within this political thing that's going on here in the U.S. and overseas and where are you, wherever you are located in this country, out of this country, wherever, all over the world. Step back. Step into your path. It may require you to have some solitude with yourself. And, um, it may require you to um, step back, take a look, and see how you want your life to proceed. Do you want it to proceed in the same way that it's going now? Especially if there's so much negativity and you seem like you're just caught up and you're in a standstill and you don't know which way to go. And there's so much drama around you. You have to ask yourself that question. Where do I want to step next? Am I going to step out and call on St. Germain to help me release this karma away from these people that keep setting themselves up or enjoying that because they're vibrating at such a low, low frequency? <coughs> and that's the only way they know how to operate? Those are the questions you really need to ask yourself. And if you want help, you can always call on St. Germain to help you release all that old karma. That's bogging you down. Even if it's coming from your um, past lives. If you think you've got any old karma that may be coming from your past lives. Um... You can work on that yourself, or you can, <clears throat> by calling St. Germain, or you can go to a practitioner that helps release that old karma. But I think that we can really do this ourselves. You just have to be willing to take the appropriate steps. And you can get past all of it. But the question is, do you really, are you ready to take those steps? That is the big question. Um, <clears throat> so if you've got those types of people in your life, um, maybe it's time to find some new positive ones that are not so caught up in drama. Especially if you're tired of it. And if you chose this card, I'm assuming, guys, that you probably are and you're looking for a change because you want the abundance, the happiness, the, the love, the compassion, um, the oneness. So it's time to, to step into your path and do the karma releasing. Alright, guys, let's see what, if you chose number two. What's the surprise? We have Sarah Peace Bay Ascension. Did we have this one? Yeah, we've had this one before, but I can't. Was it last week? I can't remember. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. 
the light is here. Wow. Strong message for this week. Let's see what the book says on Serapis Bay. Okay, Ascension. This is all about Ascension. What is going on? Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Serapis Bay is the light keeper in charge of Ascension. He once served as a priest in Luxor, Egypt, helping those passing on to cross over into the light. Now he is a presence we can call on in order to ascend. Ascension means rising up. It reminds us of the story of Christ being resurrected after death. This means that Serapis Bay can guide us from the lowest states of being back to the light. His energy is almost like that of the Phoenix, Phoenix, giving us the support to move out of our own hell of darkness into a space that supports growth. The stars cannot shine without darkness. You may have experienced a st low state of being trauma or depression. But this is a new beginning. Become aware of growth. There is always room for improvement. There is also a sense of presentation now. You may be receiving documentation or certification to acknowledgement your go growth or experience. It is, Im it is important to cherish this time and to realize that you, that without the challenge or obstacles you have face, faced, you wouldn't be as strong, powerful, and focused as you are today. You are ascending personally and spiritually at this time, and the universe is here to support you. So I'm already getting two different messages. Um, from this card from Serapis Bay moving to your true self for some of you I feel that you are at your lowest point that you are so much in the darkness that you can't even see the light and you don't want to be there it's all a matter of If you're letting that fear take over you. Remember, remember guys, remember this is all an illusion. Wake up. It's all an illusion. Do not get in, the, in that state of, you know, low, low, where you're vibrating, you know, under your feet. <laughs> so, let's say that you're vibrating, that you're so low. That you're just at your lowest point and you're feeling like you're at the depths of despair and you just can't take it anymore. Oh, please remember this is an illusion. There are beings here right now that feed on that fear. They want you at that lowest point. At the state you are in. For some of you, I'm not saying all of you, I said I'm getting two messages from this. I'm trying to go through the first one that I'm feeling. It's just an illusion. These are things that we, you kind of have to, when you're going through the ascension process and waking up and realizing that everything you have been taught is a lie, it's hard to really go and unlearn those you know things and remove all those blocks because that when you're growing up uh and you we've been taught all these lies that creates a lot of blocks you know our for most of us our third eye is the veil is over our eyes you know what i mean um it could be a matter of you're creating this you're creating this by fear. I always say in all my readings, you have to let go of that 
fear. You are an infinite spiritual being. Don't be afraid. Some people are afraid of dying. Don't be. You live. You're living. This is just a vehicle. I'm getting kind of off the, the thing here, but for those that are vibrating so low and they're at the lowest point and they just don't know what, you know, why is this happening to me? Why is this, is, is this happening to me? You're creating it. You're creating it. You're bringing it in. You're giving it more power. The more you think about that fear or that lowest thing or that whatever it is that's making you go to the low, you're giving it your own energy, your own power. And when you're vibrating that low, you're feeding these these beings, you know, the ba bad ones that are here that feed off the energy of the low energy, not the good, not the high. So raise that vibration. Come out of that lowest point. If you need to call on Serapis Bay, he is there to help you with your ascension. There's room for growth. Tomorrow is another day. You know, I've been in those states in my past. I've been in the lowest states. I mean, the lowest states that I did not even want to exist here anymore. I want it out. <laughs> I mean, I want it out. Um, but now that I look back and now if I do have I don't have those lowest states anymore but when I do have that that low vibration because I'm always you know you're going to always have that low vibration trying to, to come in to you but um, or that energy trying to bring you back down so they can feed off of that I always say, you know what, if something bad happens or, you know, whatever. I mean, there's some things that we just cannot control, uh, like death or, or things like that. I mean, you know, tomorrow is another day. I always told myself, tomorrow is another day. You're going to feel totally different than what you are feeling today. Anyways, getting back to this. Let go of that fear. There's room for growth. So you can rise up. Put heart. Put love in your heart. In your body. Put it in every organ. If you can just imagine your body. Um, if you need to do this every day. Every night. Do it. I recommend doing it. Thinking of loving things. Um, thinking of. Uh, white light coming down shining in every part of your body every organ every cell every molecule everything to help you grow and ascend in your journey and protect yourself with golden bright light gold light You have to really command it and mean it. Tell it to be gone if you want to say it like that. You know, I, 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 when I was doing my work on my own self, you know, I was like, you got to go. You know, when I feel a panic attack or something like that, I don't even have those anymore. Even if I feel one coming on, I'm like, nope, ain't happening here. You was going to get, get, you know, get the you know what out of here. You know, I just command it. You have to be very, very, you are very powerful. Just command it. I know that people, I know you're saying, what? You command it? Yeah, you can command it. That's how. You don't really know what powerful, powerful beings you really are. Yes, I command it. I command a lot of things to get the you know what away from me. That I don't put up with crap like that. And I'm not, I am that type of person. I say what's on my mind. And if I'm not putting up with it, I'm not putting up with it. And it's some negative or something like that. You got to go. You're not even allowed here in my space. Now the second part I was getting with this for Therapy Spay. That some some of you guys are, have been working on this. You've been working on your ascension. And I say kudos to you guys that have been working on your ascension. Some of you may have been taking metaphysical classings. Um, 
classes on how to connect with your higher self you know all sorts of things that you can be doing on growth channeling you know healing yourself herbs whatever working with stones you know working with crystals uh, and you're you're getting some kind of recognition some kind of um, graduating from that class a lot of you are graduating in the spiritual and in the physical whether you're doing spiritually uh, or in the physical that you are ascending congratulation now it's time to move into your true authentic self you know you've been through a lot you've been through a lot and I say kudos and, and love and light to you guys that have that are ascending and have worked on yourself a lot to not only heal yourself but to help others heal themselves and help them with their ascension and their spiritual growth and their awareness and their expansion wow wonderful 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 great whether you became a Reiki master there's so many different areas that everyone needs to be working everyone's got their special specialty everyone has their specialty you know even if it's just reading cards you know doing reading psychic readings channeling whatever it is you know I just say thank you kudos to you you're doing a wonderful job Serapis Bay is acknowledging that that it's time continue working on it and for those that are at their lowest point and having troubles call on Serapis Bay he can help you out of that if you want it if you want it you can make it happen you can manifest anything you want to but it takes work and diligence and self-discipline no it ain't gonna happen overnight but you've got to be worked on you got to be doing work on yourself to do those manifestations you understand you got to have self-discipline is the main thing when you're doing any kind of manifestations you're not just doing it letting the ego take over okay guys let's see what is going on with number three who do we have I hope it's a surprise um we've got Bridget and we have had Bridget before inner strength move back move back to wholeness recognize that you have the power like man does that connect with that you can create manifest anything you want to like I just said you just have to realize who you are guys you have to really realize who you are remove the obstacles the blindfold the veil so let's see what the book says about Bridget inner strength move back to wholeness recognize that you have the power Bridget is the Celtic goddess of Ireland who is closely associated with the fire and the time of spring she is the twin flame of Serenius she was so well loved by the Celtic people that the Christi when Christianity came to Ireland, she was adopted as the saint of holy wells and other holy places. She is a powerful figure who can help us channel our energy into something that is important for our growth. And as she herself has lasted through the ages, she adds longevity to our journey so that we can reach a deep state of wholeness you can call on her to bring her sacred flames to burn away anything that is not serving you to bless any new projects that you have in mind for support with fertility your spiritual fire is growing within recognize the power of your soul is greater than you think you have come a long way since you began this journey 
there is a powerful force within you and you have the ability to create wonderful changes in your own life and inspire those around you to do the same. Be aware of new projects, opportunities, and fertile ideals that can grow into something larger than you can imagine. Call on the fiery goddess Bridget to light the way ahead. Wow. It's time, guys. It is time. Be aware of new projects, opportunities, and fertile growths. And you can call on Bridget to burn away things that are no longer serving you. And to bless the new projects that you have. That you want to have the... Um, uh, the abundance coming from those projects. You want those projects to be fertile. You want them projects, those projects to grow whatever it is you're working on. Inner strength. Remember who you are. Who am I? I am. The I am. Remember who you are. I know guys, we come into this playing with many blocks on us. Um, for some of us, the veil has been lifted. For other of us, for some of, you know, for others, we um, have to work. Others have to work to remove the veil and to remove all the blocks. Remember your inner strength. Remember, guys, this is just an illusion. It's just an illusion. You can remove that if you just remember how special and wonderful you really are. And if you're having anything that no longer serves you in your life and you want to get rid of it, or you just want to say, call on Bridget and say, take your flame and burn away everything that is no longer serving you. You can do it like that to get rid of things. Let them fall by the wayside. If you know what they are, you can work on them yourself. Um, but if you just want to call on her uh, and ask for that inner strength, no matter what you're going through, um, she can help you and burn away all the obstacles that you think lie ahead of you. Remember, this is an illusion, but she's always there to help you if you need it. All you have to do is, is call on her. And especially if you're going into business yourself or you're starting something, you know, any kind of of work or if you're starting um, an entrepreneur you know, or going into business with someone or just starting a new job and you don't want any, you know, obstacles, and you want it to be fertile, and you want it to grow, and you want it to expand, and you want it to, to, um, be grounded, you know, and be there for a long time, um, she's there to help with that too, guys, all you have to do is recognize that you have the power. You are really such a powerful spiritual being. If you can just get over uh, being in this physical body and having um, or having to unlearn everything you have learned, that creates a lot of the blocks and a lot of the negativity you know you know especially if you grew up with a certain mentality of how you were raised I don't really want to go into detail but um, of believing certain things that creates mental blocks if you grew up believing that 
or you know have family members telling you that you can never do anything or you're not going to do anything or you're going to do anything that's all just creating mental blocks you can get rid of those mental blocks or those blocks or obstacles whatever you want to call them Bridget is here to help you with that move back into your heart center move back into your heart chakra move back towards to the wholeness of you and who you are and your connection with source your connection with the heavens your connection with earth mother Gaia your connection with the universe move back into that move back into your inner strength and she can also bless you bless your businesses bless your new project if you're writing a book um, or anything like that starting anything your own um, or already have your own business you're welcome to call on Bridget anytime wonderful wonderful card for this week You just have to recognize that you have the power to create your own reality, guys. Do you understand that? Again, you have the power to create your own reality. Do you understand that? Do you believe that? You may understand it, but the next step is do you believe it? And if you do believe it, you manifest it. Understand how that works? But you've got to have some self-discipline behind that. You've got to be working towards that. You've got to be walking that spiritual path. You've got to be wanting the growth. You've got to be coming from that heart place, heart center to do these things. And you can do them. You just have to believe. You may know a lot of things. I know a lot of things. Everybody knows a lot of things. But the question is, do you believe? Do you believe? Then start putting your intentions and those intentions and belief in, in your energy is what creates the manifestations that you desire and want in your life. Remember, self-discipline comes in, walking that spiritual path coming from um, your heart center is a must. Do everything with love. We are all connected. We are all powerful. There is a mass awakening here on earth. A mass awakening. We must. It's a must that we wake up and realize who we really are. It is a must. As for us, for us, we have to. Alright guys, that is your reading for this week. I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed week. I love every one of you guys. Hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friend.